Welcome Brainers! In this video, we're going to show you how to transfer WhatsApp from Android to iPhone. This solution is completely free. Works even after the initial iPhone setup. And most importantly, you'll not lose existing apps and data on your iPhone. Without further ado, let's get started. Step 1. Backup iPhone. There are two official ways with which you can backup your entire iPhone. One way is using iCloud, and another way is using your PC or Mac. I'll be showing it in iCloud, but if you would like to use your PC or Mac for backup, then please refer to the link in the description. On the left, I have my Android, and on the right iPhone. Please open the iPhone Settings app. Tap on your profile name. Select iCloud. By default, all apps and data are backed up. You can select Show All and double check or adjust as required. Select iCloud Backup. Tap Backup Now. This takes some time based on your backup size and Wi Fi speed. Once the backup completes, please make a note of this backup time. Step 2. Reset iPhone. Don't worry much about resetting, because we've just taken a complete backup of your iPhone. Post WhatsApp migration, we will restore all your apps and data as is. With that said, please go to the Settings app. Scroll down and go to General. Down below over here choose Transfer or Reset. Please select Erase All Content and Settings. Please follow the on-screen instructions. When prompted, enter your passcode and Apple ID password. Depending on your device, it may take some time to completely erase your data. Post reset, your device will start as if you were setting this up for the very first time. Step 3. Transfer WhatsApp from Android to iPhone. Please follow on-screen instructions and proceed with initial iPhone setup. Make sure you connect to the same Wi-Fi to which your Android is connected. Please pay little attention, this is very important screen in this whole process. We should now select, move data from Android. On your Android, please go to Play Store and install Move to iOS app. This is an official app from Apple. Once installed, please launch the app and follow the on-screen instructions. Now tab on Continue on your iPhone to get the passcode. Back in Android, click on Continue and enter the same. Connection has been established successfully between your Android and iPhone. Along with WhatsApp, which is main focus of this video, I'm going to transfer Google accounts and contacts as well. But if your contacts are already synced to iCloud or you don't want to transfer Google account, then please skip accordingly. Double confirm that there is check mark against WhatsApp and anything else that you want to transfer. Go ahead and select Continue. The actual data transfer process from Android to iPhone has started. This may take time based on your data size, so please be patient. Transfer is complete. Select Done on both the devices. We may not require Android for rest of the process, so let me keep it aside for now. 
This is important, you should use the same Apple ID that you used previously on your iPhone. Please follow on-screen instructions. This confirms my WhatsApp data store is transferred from Android to iPhone, but the actual application is not yet installed. So, we need to download and install the same from App Store. Once installed please launch WhatsApp. Please follow the on-screen instructions. As you can see, I got all my chats and messages to iPhone. Step 4. Backup WhatsApp from iPhone to iCloud. Open WhatsApp. Go to Settings. Chats. Chat Backup. If you want to include videos, you should enable this over here, and this may take more space and time. Tap on Backup now. This takes time based on your internet speed and data size. So please be patient. Backup has been completed. Now my iCloud has two backups. One is your end-to-end -end phone backup that we've taken in step one. Another is your WhatsApp backup that we've just taken. You can think of these two as two different buckets, separated from one another. In subsequent steps we will restore them one by one. Step 5. Reset and restore all apps and data from backup. Please follow the on-screen instructions and reset your iPhone one last time. This gives us option to restore your existing apps and data from our step 1 backup. For my case, I'll be choosing restore from iCloud backup. But if you have your backup at Mac or PC, please choose this accordingly. If you could recall, this is the time I have noted at the end of my step 1. Choose the same, and tap on continue. It may take some time so please be patient. At the end you'll get all your app's data back, but you should give some time for the actual app installation. This happens automatically, so please be patient. We have successfully restored all existing apps and data, and iPhone is at the same state before we started this video. But with one main difference, we now have your WhatsApp data in your iCloud. Step 6. Install WhatsApp and restore WhatsApp from iCloud. Please open App Store and install WhatsApp. Once installed launch the app. Please enter your phone number. This automatically finds backup from iCloud. Please tap on Restore. This may take some time, please bear.
I've successfully transferred my WhatsApp from Android to iPhone, most importantly my existing apps and data in iPhone is not affected. I hope it was helpful. Please do like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you've any questions or thoughts, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another useful video.